Hot and muggy here mm -hmm. and now stormy. How's it going now, Jason? Still stoopy out there, mm. Alina, across Northeast Ohio, and we've been dealing with that for the past couple days or so. And we're now beginning to see the initiation of strong to severe storms moving through Northeast Ohio. So let's start this out here. You can see where our severe thunderstorm warning is in effect for portions of Erie, Huron, Lorraine and Cuyahoga County for another just about 20 minutes or so, 1145. Also, that has been extended, you can see there, out towards the east. So Ashtabula has now rolled off, and we have another warning that is extending over towards uh, northwestern Pennsylvania. So this is where we only have to focus on, at least right now. Let's hit the radar right now. You can see where there's a lot of lightning strikes moving through the areas of Lorraine, North Olmsted, Overland, even moving through Rocky River at this hour, and eventually moving through downtown Cleveland. Back over towards the north and east, you can see of our friends there in Chardon, Chester, even extending over towards Leroy and also so Trumbull, some light to moderate showers there and even back over towards Ashtabula. Now, as we come back down here, you can see over the south and west near Norwalk, you can start to get a little bit of shower activity moving through near 99 that is going to be moving off to the north and also the east. This is all riding along that strong cold front that we've been talking about. Still draped back over towards the lake, standing back towards over towards Sandusky. Northerly winds now beginning to move through portions of Elyria, but we still have southerly winds coming in from Akron all the way down south to New Philadelphia and also Dover. Additional rainfall in is likely across the region until the front fully clears. That'll happen prior to sunrise for us tomorrow. So anywhere from perhaps a half inch up to an inch of rainfall at most is what we're still going to be dealing with overnight tonight. Here's your National Design More Alba Hour forecast. OK, much of the activity along the lake shore beginning to clear out shortly after around 2 a.m. And then I think we'll be doing pretty good. Just some light residual showers likely to accompany you if you're having an early morning commute for tomorrow. Then high pressure hops back in the driver's seat and it stays through perhaps Tuesday evening heading in towards Wednesday where our next frontal boundary moves through. But for tomorrow, we'll keep our temperatures hovering around 80 degrees at most and then settle back down overnight Monday heading in towards Tuesday with more sunshine expected and we'll go back into the low 80s here, but we'll still be dealing with variable clouds. Upper 70s, you can see around high noon on Tuesday and eventually hitting the low 80s degree mark and then the afternoon for that drive at 5. So we'll button it up here for you tonight. We'll stay in the mid to low 70s, central northeast Ohio, and then along the lakeshore could be in the northern, at least could be in the, the lower 70s all in all. But tomorrow on, on the hour, you can see temperatures topping out. I should correct that. It's not going to be 92 degrees for tomorrow. It'll be about 78, 79 degrees for tomorrow, where you can see where our temperatures start to stack up as we make our way through the afternoon and get more daytime heating. The bigger picture, once we get past Tuesday heading in towards Wednesday, we have sort of a clash of air air masses that are going to be happening here. We could have an area low dive down to the south, but we also have one coming in from the north as well when we have our next frontal boundary moving through. This could likely leak in some showers and storms for us on Thursday and then clear us out heading towards the weekend, where I think the weekend is going to be quite nice and you'll enjoy that. Who's your union home mortgage 10 day? Look at our temperatures, showers and storms returning midweek on Wednesday, going back into the lower 80s by Thursday, variable clouds on Friday. But look at the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, mid to low 80s with chance showers and thunderstorms accompany us for the first few days. Can you believe it, Lena, of August? Oh, in the meantime, we can hear the rumbling in the studio right now <laughs> from the thunder.